Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to the Brothers Geek Out channel. It's another episode of Fight Talk. We were out last week, not many fights happening. And we got K West back to give us an update of what's happening in beautiful Thailand and whatnot. Um, but bro, how has things been? Um, yeah, yeah, we can see the sun out there, looks nice, palm trees and whatnot. How's things been? We haven't spoke to you, we haven't heard from you. Well, I have, but the, the viewers haven't in a couple of weeks because obviously you moved to Thailand, weeks. booked a one-way ticket yeah. to Thailand, and you're just trying to settle yeah. down there and whatnot, trying to find a place. Are you in a hotel now, or you you found a place, or what's happening? So I'm, I'm um, at my friend's apartment, so I'm staying here, waiting for, I'm waiting for everything, waiting for everything to kind of like fall into place, which is... um tricky for me because normally i'm like i put things in action and it's done but i've had to have an iron will of patience uh so um yeah i'm, I'm in i'm in samoy i was in bangkok the past couple weeks i was there to try to find business and speak to people and network and such and such and then came here because I, i'd already partnered with a gym the last time i came here which you probably remember and I came back to rekindle with that that situation and look at visa options and multitude of different things at, at the same time kind of thing. So so yeah, I'm uh, I'm in Samoy at the moment. Nice. Okay, okay. But you flew so you're in Samoy at the moment, but you went you flew straight to Bangkok first, right? Or did you fly straight to yeah, Samoy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, you um I think like if you come to Thailand, I think you can you get the couple options. I think you can fly to Bangkok or uh, uh, Phuket, which a lot of people do, just you know, or yeah, there are two airports basically in in Bangkok. But yeah, it's it's mainly either Bangkok or Phuket if you're in to Thailand. And then I took a I took a fourteen hour journey to get to Samoy because I was being cheap. <laughs> so Damn, I took like a fourteen coach. hours. Would you say, but bus and train and 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 whatnot, public um it's a, land transport. No, I, well, yeah, it's it's a bus and a ferry. Damn. Okay. Okay. A bus and a ferry. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, yeah. Like there wasn't really anything going on in 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 um Bangkok at the at the time, and I thought, yeah, let me come here and like rekindle what I've already set up, and uh, yeah, the gym is the gym has expanded. They've got more clients. They've, it's more like a, a sports facility now than it was just just then just a gym. So it, it's grown. Um, but they, they told me they had to go and like, I guess because, uh, we didn't really keep in contact me and the, the owner of the gym. So when I told her I'll be, be back, maybe she didn't believe me. And I messaged her a couple, like a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago and said, Hey, I'm coming back. But I think over here, they don't really communicate much on message. It's more like a phone call or something a bit more direct. And I know this as well. They kind of watch to see what you do, like your action. Mm -hmm. So I got here and then I spoke to her and then she was like, oh, okay, cool. And then she got to like move things around and prepare the massage table, the massage room and everything. So I went there last week and she said, oh, we're moving everything for you. So come back in a week. So I was like, ah, <laughs> damn. All right. So, so yeah, that's, that's what it's been. So I've been, Online, looking for work, remote work. I've been, uh, you know, calling different gyms to see what's available. It's it's been a challenge. It's been a mm. challenge. It's been a challenge. It's been a challenge. Okay, um, but this one you're saying though that they still move it. They move just say she's saying that they move things around. Hopefully in a week or something they'll have something set up for you. Is that what they're saying? At least. Yeah. So they they already they already had a massage room and then they um. She didn't ex explain why, but she said that she was gonna she's gonna shift the room from one location to another, which has bigger space, which is better for me. So she said, "I said you need any help?" She said, "No, no, just come back in a week." So I said, "Okay." okay. Hopefully, hopefully she so, follows through with that. She's quite an action person. I can't see why she wouldn't. You know, even I sent her my new flyer. She uh, said she's gonna put it up on the front, and even from before when I spoke to her. And we'd work together. She just got the photographer to come and got everything happening and advertising. So uh, yeah, she's very action based. I think if I'm if I'm if I'm on it, she's on it kind of thing. So 
I'm on it. Awesome. Well, that sounds good, man. That sounds good. I mean, look, you know, we were talking on WhatsApp and whatnot. At least, you know, before you you had a time limit, you had a ticket going back, so there's so much. So now it's more like, of course, you're going to get things moving and whatnot, but you got a bit more time. You got time is not against you, right? But it is in some in some aspect. But you got time to set a base mm-hmm. because now it's about setting a base. Like you, it's not about just yeah. oh, trying to make things and then and I'm going home. It's like no, okay, now this is full time. I need to figure out how to move yeah. things forward and set it set it in stone that it it lasts for years, whatever it is. Before it was just like set connection, blah 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 blah. All right, I'm out. Yeah. I was like. These are more meaningful yeah. connections. This is going to last me for for years or whatnot, or forever or whatever, however long you decide. So you know you got you got time to to set things up, uh, but obviously you got to keep moving. Like every day you got to make progress in something. But this sounds good. At least you know end of the day, with with this lady or with, at this gym, at least it sounds like next week something should be set up for you, um, and you should, should be, be this week. Back in this week. Oh, this week. Awesome. So yeah, that's cool. Should, that's be, nice. should be. Yeah, it should be. It should be this week. So um and it's yeah, close, we'll close to more you're yeah. in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 a very touristic location. There's so many European people around, like everyone's on bikes, everyone's mopeding around, like you, you can probably see as many locals as you see tourists around mm-hmm. here because it's like a holiday location. So mm-hmm. I kinda laugh that feel like I've come to a place, I've come to a, a city, um you know, a, a foreign land, and then I've gone to a smaller city within that country, which is just tourists and just holiday and just chilling and cheers and so on. But it, you know, they're kind of my, they are my uh, clientele. You know, European people; those are the main people that I would see when I was in in in, in England, anyway. And um, you know, they, I guess, they understand what I my brand of therapy more than the Thai people do for now. Yeah, so, well, I guess, yeah, but, it's, yeah, no, but also, like, it depends. If someone's on holiday, then they're just going to want to get a little Thai massage and for, for £10 or £5 or however cheap it is in Thailand. But you're, so, but you're obviously looking for people who are kind of living there, training and need it, because that's more of a commitment to pay whatever price. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be cheaper than what you're charging in London, but it's going to be more expensive than just a Thai massage, right? Uh, I'm on a holiday, I just want a five, £5 Thai massage, relax. Or whatnot. So you're 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 not trying to get people on hot like who are on vacation. You're trying to get people who actually live there and train there, and you know who are interested in this type of therapy rather than I'm on holiday. I just want a neck massage or whatever it is. You know what I mean, right? Absolutely. And there is a great combination of the two. There's a massive community of all types of nations. A lot of Russians, a lot of uh, French people live here, uh, and they've you know, in some cases, taken over a certain part. So there's a huge community that I need to, like, delve into. Facebook is a big deal here, not really Instagram. Everybody's advertising communities on Facebook and businesses on, on, on there. So it's been, like, I guess a revolution to kind of go back into Facebook and then start, like, you know, typing the drums and stuff because normally that's kind of like a dead location mm. <laughs> for anything in regards to creating you know new connections of people but this is how they run over here so so yeah i've, I've seen that there's there's a, there's a lot of scope there's nobody on the island who does what i do um it's a matter of time well that's a good thing well that's a good start that there's no one there to do what you do and um so hopefully that gives you you know upper hand in the market it's just about getting out there putting your putting your product out there i guess and then and then just trying to f- you'll again come across the people who live there, right? Not people who are on holiday. I mean, if there's someone on holiday that understands what they need, then do what you do and want that, perfect. Um, but you want the people that are on, that live there, basically. Um, cool, man. Well, look, I mean, I always thought the great thing is, like, if, like, God forbid, you're like, ah, oh, Koh Samoy is not working out. You just drive to the next big city. You know what I mean? I've never been Koh Samoy. I have I've another option. Watching... What's that? I was going to say, yeah, I actually do have another option, but carry on. Yeah, no, I've always wanted to go there. I remember was going to go there because oh. my Muay Thai coaches in Hong Kong at the time, yeah. they trained at, they, they came from a gym at Koh Samui. So I was always like, oh, I'd love to go there and train oh. and whatnot. And I was remember supposed to go in there with a friend, but the tickets from Hong Kong to there, I remember, were so expensive. 
I'm talking about, yeah. if I remember correctly, we're talking about six, seven hundred pounds. And I was like, hold on, that's like a ticket yeah. to the UK. I can't yeah. be paying those prices. So I remember not going. So, you know, Phuket and Bangkok was obviously the cheaper options and whatnot. Um, so I done Ooh. I've done Phuket before, I've done Bangkok, and that's it really in Thailand. Um See? Yeah. that's the reason why I took the fucking coach and the the, the bus. Because mm. of that, <laughs> you know, Bangkok. To Samoa is only like two hours, and they charge in upwards of a uh, hundred plus for two hour journey. It's ridiculous. Well, I yeah. can get it for forty dollars. I mean, like you said, I got nothing but time, so I, I took it. <laughs> That's a great trip. The thing is, as well though, what, what you did is like one, you saved the money and whatnot. I know it's time, but you got a chance to see a beautiful landscape of Thailand. Through the, I know it might not have been comfortable heat and sweat and all this stuff. But you just saw a beautiful landscape of Thailand. You know what I mean? You got a chance to drive through and was, take the boat and whatnot, right? It was actually more comfortable than you think because they have really nice buses. It looked like a, like a plane. You know, they got AC and everything. They give okay, you food. Nice. You got a nice leg room. They, you stop off at maybe about every couple hours you stop off and there's a major stop where they, get, they give you food. It's part of your ticket. So you go and you go and stretch your legs and eat, eat nice food, get back on, and then you take another. So it kind of, the bus comes from uh, Bangkok and then comes all the way down to this, uh, like the South Pier, right? And people will either go to Koh Phangan or, um, or Samoy. So then at that point, you then switch the bus and then you go take another bus and then from there you take the, the ferry. So it was actually a very pleasant trip. Nice. I didn't get to see much because I was, and oh, that's, that's just how it worked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the, the boat ride was nice. Um, I would like to take a train. How long was the boat see, ride? Um, maybe a few hours, maybe two hours. Like, the, the majority of it is, 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 is on land. Mm. And then the boat ride is literally from uh, Suratani over to Koh Samoy, which is maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So it was easy. Nice, nice. That sounds amazing. I remember we when when we were in um, Phuket, we took a boat ride to I think it was PP Island where they done um, oh, like yeah. beautiful landscapes and they done that movie that Leonardo DiCaprio was and whatnot. I remember That'd I be... fell asleep on the boat, yeah. man. I was like, oh my god, this. I feel like a two hour journey oh, as well. I just felt no. horrible. Um, was it choppy? Hobby yeah, ride? yeah, yeah. Just it's not choppy. for me, man. Uh, but um, small boat. It was, I mean, yeah, it wasn't the biggest one, but yeah, small, like I had a couple, I don't know, maybe a hundred people in it or something like that. Okay, because this one's like, you don't feel nothing. It's just... Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. But that's so, a great journey, it's man. Cool. It's great. I mean, look, look you're, you're, again, it, yes, you're there to, to work, you uh, find a different lifestyle, but also you're there to experience the culture, you're exper the ex there to experience the landscape, the beautiful side of Thailand. Um, also the the, the 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 kind of way of life the the standards of living you know what I'm trying to say like mm. you're not in the hustle and the bustle and the greatness of the UK and and whatnot you're in mm. yes you're in sunny Thailand yes you're trying to make something over there but your level of um, living and your cost and expend expenditure and all, it's going to be less right because it's going to adapt to the the the, the, the Thailand the, the the way it is in Thailand and whatnot um, but I think that will make you, do you know what I'm trying to say? It takes you away from like, I'm trying to save for a car or I'm trying to pay my bills in London and when rent is so high and all this sort of stuff. It kind of takes yeah. you away from that and makes you feel like, all right, like I'm, I'm more chilled. And again, it depends on the mentality. Some people do want, uh, I, I'll speak for myself. I do look for a future it, 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 i'm not saying that you don't it, it, hear me out for a second but when i say that i'm looking like from a financial perspective i do want to buy uh, a house for me and my wife and stuff in the future so i am saving for that stuff i bought a car and all this sort of stuff i have that mentality i am that i am that guy who falls in that bubble um and i kind of wish i was that guy and correct me if i'm wrong who falls in the bubble that you're in it was like yeah, I'm looking for a future. I'm looking to make something. I'm looking to save and blah, 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 blah. But I don't need what you have. I don't need be it the, the big, not that like I'm looking for a big house, but the big car, house and the nice car and all that sort of stuff. I'm happy with the way I'm living. I'm saving. I am going to buy a house or whatever in the future. 
but I'm living in a more peaceful place, like I, mentally. I don't know if that made sense. I don't know and if, I, if I put you in the wrong bubble, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I'm definitely in that corp corporate Western, ah, not Western, that's the wrong way, like that corporate bubble of like, I want this, this corporate, and this. Yeah. And you're more yeah. like, yeah, I want that stuff too, but I, I'm chill, I'll get there, or it'll be smaller or whatever it is, but I'm in a beautiful environment and I'm in, a, in my head as well as, atmosphere is that right or am i talking shit <laughs> no you're you're no you're actually quite not far off actually um not far off from talking shit no, i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no you're you're right like i i do want all that stuff but i know that I, you know my situation is what it is and you know i i um i have to look at building the foundation first and starting from zero in a sense so yeah of course i want that and i had some very interesting like manifestations and and kind of visualizations of, of what I'm looking for and how I want my planet to look and what kind of people it would, it would be um, taking in and how I want to build a retreat all these stuff so I've, I I have a very different waypoint of it but of course like at the end of the day it's, it will be success and it will be you know measured by whatever individual see, see, deems as successful, mm -hmm. isn't it, you know? Yeah. Whether you have all these cars and you have all of this, whatever, like whatever it is that keeps you up at night or whatever it is that puts you down to sleep at night <laughs> that makes you feel calm, you know, um, I, I, will, I will gather those things. Um, but yeah, the corporate lifestyle, of course, it puts you on that immediate, what's that treadmill that, that Flash is on? That super treadmill. You know the one. Yeah, I know it's one. I'm not sure exactly the name of it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it puts you on that on that speed force treadmill immediately being in that corporate mind. And even my friend, she's very corporate as well. And you know, she thinks she thinks about numbers on everything. You know, everything is, is an analytical numerical system. And I'm like, okay, like I under, I, under, I understand being with somebody on an everyday basis to see what how they see the world versus someone like me who's more like been more relaxed and calm obviously i'm analytical too but i'm not high stress or i don't put that kind of level of angst that some people do when they're you know go 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 all the time because that's how they're built so um yeah it is I'm, I'm definitely doing some inner working on myself and meditating a lot more writing reading books um yeah, it's been it's been really really good and fulfilling and humbling. I'd say massively humbling. So uh, yeah, man, I'm here. That's amazing. That's amazing. And again, it, it, like even though it's crazy, like even though our mind frames are different, I mean, this is all human beings. Like you got to be happy with what you have. I mean, like, and in some ways, I kind of want, like in some ways, I'm like, man, I wish I kind of had the life that you have in the sense of the mind frame of like, yeah, I'm free, but I put the pressures on myself and maybe it was my upbringing and whatnot or, 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 and I've just kind of programmed this in my head. It's like, and, and again, it's not saying that you don't want the same stuff that I want, like family and all that sort of stuff. It's just that you're you're approaching it in a different way where I've, I'm sitting like, like, I'm setting like deadlines in my head, like, you know, fake deadlines, which don't make sense, you know, because there is no deadlines that like, you just do it. But I'm setting these deadlines and whatnot. But yeah. That's good. That's good work, though. That's, that's, that's how you work. That's, I mean, um, that's solid. I yeah, mean, no, I, is, I, that, I just you don't, don't yeah. hold yourself accountable. Nobody else fucking will, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like, you know, even, even, even though I, you know, I have this kind of ukulele Hawaii kind of vibe to myself. Don't get me wrong. I still have things in my head where I'm just like, yo, I, I have self talks like mm. some crazy person. And I'm like, yo, Kurt, like, you know, you need to, yeah, all right, we're on it. <laughs> you know, make sure you look at this and check that. So I have my computer, my little AI in my head, Jarvis telling me stuff I need to do and make sure that this is that you're accountable for this. And you haven't looked at that. And have you tried this? And, you know, you just get this done by this point in time. You know, mm. I still have those thoughts. It did, they're just not as loud and they don't um, drag me down too much. But I do have them, especially when, when I'm by myself and I'm just calm. I'm just like, then the computer begins to work overload. Mm. So You um, know, it's crazy you say that because I have, I thought I was the only one, but I, I know it, I, I, no one's alone with 
were talking to themselves. Like, and I don't think it's a crazy. I used to think, man, oh, you're crazy, man, to having these. Be, uh, I used to think they're like daydreams, but it's like no, like you're telling yourself you need to do this or you need to, or you're thinking about that, and it's just your your brain, like planning and programming on reminding you got to do this 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 date time. Like it's like a like a calendar in your head or sort of thing that's just trying to organize. But no, it's this it's, it's your listen. Self, right? The good thing is as well, like that I praise you for, but and, and don't get me wrong, man. I, I I know a lot of people friends of mine who would say stuff like I'm 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 on this bro I'm I'm trying to do this and I'm on this thing and there's no action like you know what I'm trying to say it's like bro you just gotta do it you gotta take a step like you you gotta break it down and take a step closer to it each day or each week or whatever and then you see them six months later yeah bro I'm still on the thing like what have you done but at least you're taking action you're in freaking Thailand that's one action you took a 14 hour ride to cost worse than that like these little things you know what I'm trying to say like they're these well those are big freaking actions because you move your damn life but the point is <laughs> taking actions rather than just talk about it and whatnot um and that's that's the thing that's that's the most important thing like with whatever you're trying to achieve or as you said whatever your success is how you're seeing success you got to take actions towards that um, and we all do it in our own crazy ways um, and sometimes we go crazy we talk to each other sometimes you know me I go crazy and I turn Hulk but we take an action towards it <laughs> I was talking about this a while back like when I was trying to get the car sorted and whatnot turning Hulk every day but then I was like even though I was turning Hulk <laughs> one action that, that got me closer happened but I didn't see the action because I just turned Hulk only now I could turn yeah. back and be like well yeah on that day this this and this was achieved but because you turned Hulk none of that mattered because you were Hulk at the time <laughs> you know what I'm saying so that's what happened like, that's what I realised with my 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 uh, Hulk moment it's like the spot says mm. shit you get shit done. You just turn Hulk. Like, how can you control Hulk and be like, all right, well, look, you achieved, you wanted to achieve 10, but you achieved five, oh. but you turn oh. Hulk within that and you mess up everything. Like, why can't you just acknowledge, <laughs> oh, what, you turn, you achieve five. The next five maybe will happen in the next day. But no, I want it all to happen. Like, I want 10 now. To be, but Last week. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. It's not realistic. And especially not, where I live. Not- you know, and not everywhere, everywhere is the same, but Dubai is, like I've always mentioned, the services here are very, like, you know, you don't yeah, get shit done immediately. It takes slow. Nobody really yeah. cares about you. Customer service don't really exist. Yeah. Everyone's just trying to make mm. money and, and do their own shit. It's all mm. last minute, but things do happen. Mm. Just got to be more, I got to yeah. be more patient, but I, I don't have that. Yeah. I'm working on it, but I don't have it in me, man. What I do, it's going to take time. Long time, I think. You meditating? Yeah. I you know what you know what my meditation I would say for me personally is my prayers my five times a day prayer and I'm doing that I've been sticking to that so I use that as meditation nice. I, nice. I look and that's, I'm what, lot, that's what it is <laughs> you know I'm a, and I'm a lot better than I was a year ago when I first we just can you believe it's a year since I moved here mm. yeah exactly oh. I mean the 14th I believe 14th of October today's the the, the 9th the night, wow, for a year, so I'm a lot better than I was a year because l- last year I was trying to get everything sorted, trying to find a place to live. This, that, and that it was crazy. My Emirates ID, phone for my trying to get a phone, for, everything was crazy because you're trying to set everything up. And I was going, mm. thinking I was Hulk every day. One year later, okay, mm. I don't have to deal with all that. shit but mm. I understand how it works here and I'm a lot better now. I can walk away from things. Also, I try not to just, mm. I don't, if I don't need your service, I don't, don't get me involved. Like I don't need that. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, and I just stay away from mm. things I don't need so I don't go crazy about things. But yeah, a lot of things are a lot better oh. now. Like I'm a lot more calmer. I have my routine. We're still trying to enjoy it. The winter's coming now, which is nice. Summertime, it's, it's been, it's still hot out here, but finally, for example, we can turn off the air con during the day like you know what i mean so i'm like i know the temperature's cooling so this winter me and my wife can uh-huh. enjoy it a bit better we got a car now um you know we're not we're not stressing about trying to find things but just can we can just go out and enjoy the uh the dubai this winter so looking to do that but um uh-huh. yeah like, you know the mind frame's a bit better I mean, it, 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 and you i've accepted dubai a little bit more for what it is rather than what i perceived it to be when i first moved here uh-huh. you know what i mean Sounds like faith, faith, uh, faith, faith is, is kind of corralling you 
through all the thunderstorms and the sandstorms and, and, and getting you there. It sounds like, you know, everybody has their meditation, you got yours and it's it's working for you because yeah, a year ago you was a stressy ball of mess. <laughs> so so congrats, man. <laughs> Listen, man, and then, again, yeah. this is the things that you got to yeah. like, and this one I love, you know, this one, I miss having these conversations with you, man. I know we're supposed to talk about fights, but this is what, right now, having this conversation with you, I'm able to sit back and acknowledge the success of the last year. Do you know what I'm mm. trying to say? Like, mm. I sit, just, just right now, I'm like, damn, yeah, yeah, it's been a year, and I can go back and acknowledge everything that we've achieved. Like, we have a mm. place... We're here for another two mm. more years. I have a car. We have everything mm. sorted. Mm. We have a routine. Mm. I have a gym. Everything. Everything sorted. I'm like, cool. Mm. Like, sit back and, and enjoy and acknowledge the success that we went through. Now, you know, and, and this is, I think this is a good purpose in life. Just set new goals and, and you know, try and get there and whatnot. And that is what we were just talking about earlier. You know, I do want to buy a house. And me and the missus are thinking about is to buy long-term or not long-term. Whatnot. So, yes, we're going to enjoy mm. it, but we're still going to think about the future. Um Mm. what we want to do but yeah, yeah. no it's 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 uh yeah man, i'm able to i guess acknowledge the success in the last year so yeah it's amazing yeah i would definitely be, be buying <clears throat> buying somewhere here eventually that that'll be the plan because like why fucking not man <laughs> yeah like, man. why not like, i i saw and if my you're already the, uh, sorry to yeah. cut you but if you're already in a mind frame where i'm like fuck the uk or those countries or the Western world or wherever it is, like not just the Western world, but somewhere that's just expensive with tax and rent and interest rate going up and blah, 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 and constant hustle and gray. If you're in that already in that mind frame that you're like, I'm here, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Then yeah, yeah, it's yeah, amazing that, that, to set that plan. Definitely, definitely. I mean, right now it's I'm trying to secure some, like I said, secure some work that's like remote so I can make pound or dollar it's proving a bit more challenging than I expected. So I think like some of these roles, it's like basic stuff, you know, and it's like not hearing anything. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I've, I've been like, I've been probably set about like maybe over a hundred applications for remote jobs in the past like month or something. So that, that, yeah, so I've had to like change my CV and look at different things. I've used chat GBT to do certain things to like, uh, you know, to, to look at specific job markets and look at my CV and see what's missing. And, you know, so, you know I've been doing a lot of different things to try to figure that one out. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, once it all kicks in, of course, like, I'll be, this will be resonance for sure. Um, you know, when, in, when you're here, like, I think like most places that are not as regimented and, and, and strict as others, as long as you got money, you can do what you want. Literally, mm -hmm. you can do what you want. You can literally go and do it as you please in this land here, you know, respectively. You can do what you want. So, you know, that's what it takes, and I'm working on it. So I, it will be nice, and it will be sweet. It will be. I mean, this is what's going to be amazing. One year from now, me and you are going to have this same conversation, and we're going to be what acknowledging your, your <laughs> success. What about that? You know what I mean? Uh, well, throughout the well, year, well, and I, I'm going to acknowledge my success another year, and I, we're going to be yeah. in very different places. And then I'm I'm excited to hear about where <laughs> you're going to be because you're going to be in, you're, you're just starting this you, this this new part chapter in Thailand. So a year from now, I can't even I can't even imagine the progress. And we're going to just have a great conversation a year from now. We're going to have great conversations throughout the year, but a year from now, we're going to have a great conversation of like. I got this. Or I'm doing this now, and I'm here. I'm enjoying. It. It's gonna be amazing, bro. I, I, I mean, it's exciting, oh, and it's like, like, I, I love, I love feeding off like not just my friends, but, but my friends' example of your energy of like, of of progression. You know what I mean? It's nice. Like I like to see people who I care about progress or in, even in general because i don't like to hate on people when i see people's progression i'm like that's amazing that I, i'm motivated but people who i care for and see that they're progressing i like to see that it's just the same thing as about health you know when i learn something about health i want i want to see my family do oh guys uh fast uh, like fasting is good for you you should do it but you know when they don't do it it's a bit like oh man like i wish you did it because I, I want you to benefit from it too but then when you're like yeah. little brother when your little yeah. brother my little brother now he's been training and he's been i'm like oh but i love to 
see that. I love to see that your health is getting better. I love to see that you're training and you're eating better. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? And the same thing with this. Like, I just love to see that your your progression and I can't wait to see more of it. It's exciting, man. And it motivates us, each other. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it, it kind of, it's good to see, bro. It's good to see. I would I pull it this way. I guess what I'm trying to say, I would hate to see that you're in Thailand and you just, just throw it all away and just like, Nah, bro, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just chilling. I'm gonna, like, bro, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, come on, what happened? What happened? Like, something's wrong. That's what I don't want to see. You know what I'm trying to say? Because it's yeah, potential. No, I, I your, your mind, your body, your what you plan, what you talk about, there's so much potential that you could be doing it and enjoying life. And I'm like, I wouldn't want to see K West lose. Like, why? It would be heartbreaking. I, you, you know, you know what I mean. You're someone I care about, so I wouldn't want to see that. Same way as my my brother or my my mother, whatever it is. I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to see my 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 close friend like just throwing life away. Unless you truly loved it, like, bro, I'm ready to. I, I don't want to do nothing for the rest of my life. If if you threw that, oh, wow. like knowing you all these years, I just know that's not you. If that makes sense, I, I don't know if I'm talking shit yeah. again, but you know yeah. what I'm talking about. No, no, no. You you uh you. I think um, people who know people the, underneath the, the, the surface of just the smiles and the laughs and the, you know, small talk, they know what's up at the core of, of the person's soul. So, no, you're speaking completely right. And, the, you know, what you've just said is what many other people who know me as well <clears throat> intimately on a you know long term scale, would say the same thing. They would not. They would be very shocked if they were to see me just like, oh, you know what, fuck it, like I'm not gonna do anything. And I remember speaking to my friend, and she told me about like some foreigners, like I guess in their forties and stuff. <laughs> and she said she heard this conversation, and she said that they they leave their country and they come here to die. And I was like, what? Damn. <laughs> what are you telling me? Damn. And she's like, yeah, they just like leave everything and they come here to die here. And I'm like, but what? Am I missing some kind of spiritual link? Is there a particular reason why you want to be buried here? Like, even if you're, like, if you just die here and you don't have any, you know, I, I don't even know how you're treated. You know, if you don't, if you, you know, it might probably just like, oh, there's another one. <laughs> 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 and just lump you somewhere. Wow, I was like, wow, that's a scary thought. Like, yeah, damn, people actually come to places to just like, you know, live the last of their day. I guess, it's possible, right? Like, you yeah, have terminal cancer. Okay, I'm going to go to Bahamas and live for the next two years. Fuck it. Yes. yes. Again, people have different mind frames. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, because I couldn't yeah. do that. Like, I, when I think about that, mm. I just want to be with my family. You know what I mean? And obviously, people mm. have different circumstances or whatnot. So maybe some people don't have family. Maybe people are not close to their family. Sure. Whatever it is. Sure. But for me, I don't care where in the world it is, be it the UK, be it Dubai, wherever it is. Like, my, if I, God forbid it, my final days, I would want to be with them or even if it wasn't my final days like and I'm 40 years old I like I, I see it you know when you're in Thailand or one of you just see people like like and they just assume I'm not to be bad but I'm just assuming like that guy is not going back home he he probably is in Thailand <laughs> and he's you know not to be bad again but out of shape out of health all that sort of stuff but he's with these pretty Thai ladies mm. and whatnot he can have a game mm. be treated nicely living a fun life and just enjoying the rest of his life whereas in the UK you know maybe things are probably expensive yeah. and I'm you can, using UK as an example because yeah. we're from there like people like, things are yeah. expensive he probably doesn't yeah. have a, a, a pretty young Thai or good looking girl looking after him um you know what I'm trying to say and then just wasting his life away. So why not just go to Thailand and enjoy those pleasures mm. of life? And that's it. But again, for me, like I, so. my mm. mind, uh, someone like me is like, I, I want to build a family. I want to be with my family and I don't want that. But I think if my life was different, if I had a different mm. thing, like, well, why am I wasting my life? Let me just go, go to Thailand and freaking just yeah. enjoy pleasures there. And then, like you said, die there. <laughs> like, happy to die there. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy. But even with that, when you say that, I mean, you don't, we don't think about death and whatnot. Like, yes. when you say that, like, where would I want to be buried? I'm like, you know what? I, I, it, I have to be in the UK where, where my family is and they can visit me and whatnot. God forbid it happens anytime soon, but I don't know. That's a crazy, crazy thing I've never even thought about. Like, I don't want to be, I don't want to, now, now mm. you say that, I don't want to die here. I didn't want to die in Hong Kong. Mm. I didn't want to die in Singapore. And I don't want to die here. Mm. No, I want to be buried. Mm. 
with where my family with can your visit. Family. Yeah. Okay. Fuck, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Living it is. Like that. I didn't even give it a, a lick of, you know, an ounce of concentration until my friend said it. And I was just like, whoa, that's a whole other element to why you see a lot of foreigners around here. Like, you don't know who's, why they're here, you know? <laughs> and it makes you think, like, damn. I'm like, man, like, listen, you already know this, yeah, but Bruce Lee said some real shit. When he talked about being immortal, it's about doing something worth being remembered for. So even mm-hmm. if you do fucking croak, do some shit that people were never going to forget you for and that they, they can always, you know, keep you close in their heart and their memory for it. Then you're always going to live, you know? Mm-hmm. I always thought that it, it was funny, like, <clears throat> remember I had this conversation with this girl way back when, and I said, like, you know, my legacy would be that if people think of me, they laugh. That's it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, make people Probably happy, yeah. a lot now if I think about it. But it's not that important. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, it might, might have changed that if I think about it. But that was something that I thought of. It's like, yeah, want people to think of me and laugh. You know? Yeah. That's, and that would be so, amazing. No, you say that, and that's amazing. I mean, me, me and kids talk about a few times about our legacy and whatnot. And I guess, like, you know, as you said, being remembered by your loved ones is somewhere that you're always going to be, you know, remembered forever. And then through, like, I, I want to have children and whatnot, and then my, I want to kind of pass that down through, <coughs> uh, through them and whatnot. Um, and that will be legacy. That's something that I want to achieve in life, like have children and do my best to try to raise them up as best as possible and for them to remember me as a good father and whatnot but even with my nephews and nieces i want them to remember me as a good uncle and uh, and whatnot mm. like that that's that's what you know ultimately my legacy i want to be like just to kind yeah. of like my loved ones but my kids and my nephews and nieces yeah. just to remember me and for what i've done and how i've helped how i could have helped them and all that sort of stuff um in in, in a mm. positive way but yeah no it's it's, it's deep of we don't think about That's, these things. Yeah, we live, we live, <laughs> live for the now. But you say that, man. I, I, I need to s- figure that out. I'm like, listen, what happens if, if God forbid, what if, what happens if I, if I pass away here? Like, send my body back to the UK. Like, like it has to be. Like, send it back to the family. Like, well, that's deep. It's very deep. Damn. Yeah. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Yeah. I mean, even, even. We need to probably think about like um, provisions in mind for such an event if it is to happen that way, right? Because that's what you need to do, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, my mom, every now and then, she's just like, oh, yeah, I da, 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 and I've got this, so you don't have to worry about my, my, my funeral. I'm just like, eat some mango. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. I know. When my dad says yeah. the same thing, I don't, I know he's trying to prepare things and whatnot, and I'm like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to prepare for it. It's, but it's kind of like, one day it will happen. Then how do I deal with it then? I don't know. And it's good to plan for these things. Like do this, do that, do that. But I'm like, I don't want to hear it right now. Like it's, but the, there is no right time to hear it. And then it's going to be too late. And then, yeah, you'll figure it all out then, but it, it will be too late. It's like, man, that's heart, it's a heartbreaking thing. You know? So, um, yeah, it's it's been... It's been crazy. I've heard like a lot of, I've had a lot of experiences in one month. I've, I've learned so much, heard so much about certain things and different aspects that I just didn't while I was here before. And it's like, wow, you know, like the world works like this over here in certain aspects of things. And it's, it's eye opening, you know? Um, mm. But yeah, that, that was one of them that was probably the most uh, macabre, but real things to kind of think about is, is the end of the road. <clears throat> But um, probably gave it like two minutes of thought, and I was like, "All right, cool, <laughs> back to building the future." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we should do. We should do. We should prepare for. It's hard. Like, yeah, I can't say prepare for death and whatnot. Like, listen, as a religious person, I can say I'm preparing for the afterlife by doing trying to follow yeah. from a religious yeah. perspective. Whether you believe right. or not, it doesn't matter, right? But if you do yeah. believe, then you're preparing for that. I mean, I always loved Muhammad Ali when he retired, and everyone's like, "Oh, you're gonna get into boxing? Are you gonna train people?" He's like, "No, I'm gonna." prepare for my afterlife and that's just me following my religion and trying to help people blah 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 and I have that sort of feeling thing in my head but you know again if whatever you believe you kind of prepare it in that way and whatnot but um yeah no it's a deep it's a deep down thought man 
man well Madness, look man. <laughs> we um, we didn't talk no fights or whatnot I and mean, we could quickly quickly brush through them because i got to catch up with kibs in a second um okay but, yeah 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 okay uh, but yeah, this the on. main to be honest with you the main objective today was just to kind of catch up with you that we have had some fights on whatnot there have been smaller cards and we'll talk for the inside but it's just to catch up with you and whatnot uh and just kind of keep this going but it was good to, it's good to speak to you and whatnot uh let's quickly talk about some Likewise, quick fights man. um yes, let's do it, let's I, look, do it, let's do it i'll be it, honest it. with you the, this card the ufc fight night that happened uh, uh grant uh, dawson versus bobby green it happened at 3 a.m my time so i didn't get a chance to watch it but i saw highlights and i saw the knockout. we don't want to hear excuses bro <laughs> yeah exactly i know i didn't have the discipline to wake we up don't hear um bobby green bobby green man so being active oh, doing what he does 30 seconds was able to to knock that knock out Grant Dawson and it was I kind of think that odds and all that stuff was against Bobby Green. Um, mm. Grant uh, Grant was coming up. Uh, I I I think he was at twenty and one or something like that. Maybe I'm making that shit up. Uh, I yeah, believe very good record. Yeah. Yeah, good record. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, just high prospects oh, and yeah. whatnot. And that's the beautiful thing about the game. And just one jab can change everything. Uh, and Bobby Green's great. If there's anything that he's good at, he's good at throwing those hats um, with his style. So <laughs> absolutely amazing for him. He took out a top, I think he was in the top 10 or top 15 with, in Grant Dawson. Mm. Definitely pushes up Bobby Green up there, man. Um, Finally ranked now. Yeah, is he, he ranked? ranked? What's he well, at he will now? Be. He will be. He, he, I don't know, but he will be. Okay. He will be ranked. He will at least top 10 or top yeah, he should, he should be top 10 now, at least. At least, yeah. Well, that's good for him, at man. Least, I mean, yeah. the guy's putting yeah. in the work. He's putting in the work regardless. And he stepped up. He deserves that. Expected. The main event, um, the main fight around him. And hopefully he gets more of that because he's exciting to watch. And he's got a great story from where he's come from. I, you know, I think we've spoke about this before. Will he become... <clears throat> A title contender, yes, I just don't know. Yeah. I don't know about that, but you never know. You never know. Like who 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 thought Charles Oliveira would be one of the best in the world when he was losing and people were saying that he gives up. So who thought? Who knew? Who knows? Or Sean Strickland beating um Izzy. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, Bobby Green. Or even get up there. He could yeah, prove. He could prove. I mean, I could, he could prove us wrong. But we spoke about it, but he could prove us wrong. He, he definitely could because I, you know. <clears throat> I saw the fight, and I, you know, I, I don't really know uh, Grant Dawson that well, but he seems a bit off. Did you did you notice anything about his his walkout music was was sleepy? <laughs> First of all, like <laughs> I I got no hype for that fight, but I'm ready to go to bed and light a candle and sing Kumbaya. It was very strange music, and then he he was like saluting Bobby Green, and he was like, I don't know, I, like again, I haven't seen him fight many times before, but his his demeanor seemed very reduced mm. you know like i don't know he, he seemed off if you w- watch it again i don't know if you've seen the, any of the previous i didn't watch the compare. whole fight i just watched that 30 okay. seconds that they put like that's the highlight it's i saw off. it was hard listen man i'm sorry to say this but it was hard to stream yeah. fights look <laughs> because i've been watching it on fight pass no. or recently yeah. just live of bt sports yes. but to go back and try and find fights <clears throat> are is difficult than i remember obviously they've cut not down yeah on it and whatnot okay that's yeah. cool uh but yeah i mean look i do see the benefit of having fight pass and everything but then um like i said if i could watch it live then i'd rather save the money mm. but uh if they're at 3 a.m my time yeah. it just especially a card like this I was like, I, I don't want to wake up that early, which is no excuse. But yeah, anyway, I I didn't get a chance to watch all of it. I just, I just saw that quick 30 seconds. So he seemed off, basically. Maybe, I don't he know, maybe it's the high pressure. Like, maybe it was the pressure of, of the uh, main event and that's shit. good like, point. Oh. It's a good, maybe. Maybe, I mean, like, that's the first time he's been a main event. You know, he's obviously been, top, like, had the most amount of press and questions and the spotlights are really bright when you're on, you're the main person. So I don't know, but it just seemed it's like he had an adrenaline dump. That's what it looked like. Mm, interesting. You know the way that he was like throwing punches like so wide, like he's just like stay away from me. <laughs> you know, and like again, it, it, it seemed like he was just off. You know, but not taking nothing away from Bobby Green. Let's see what you can do against you know somebody else in the top ten. Let's see where you can go because you know I've seen the line about him. I want to see him do something. Fuck it. 
Yeah, well, that should be um, exciting to see for the future, man. We'll see what happens, man. I mean, look, I didn't. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't get a chance to watch the rest of the card. I I didn't. You Doba? I didn't watch anything. No. I you couldn't find any of the fights. Well? I, I couldn't no. find any of the fights. Drew Dober apparently has got like the highest win streak or finish rate in the lightweight division right now, right? It seems so. Yeah, and funny thing is, he beat him recently. They both won on this on this card. So. Does that mean they're gonna have to fight again at some point? I don't know, but yeah, um, it was a decent card. I've been, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see half of it. I saw most of Bellator actually than this one. Mm. Bellator yeah. is a bit more easier to access, but the stream again yeah. was so hard for me to watch. It kept on buffering. I didn't even get a chance to watch the full Uma uh, Uma Namagamero fight or Uzma Namagamero. Oh my fight. god, he that mm. was easy. I, so I wanna, I'm, 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 I wanted to like I found a link and the fight yeah. do you know what this is what I hate the whole intro up to the fight was smooth sailing and you get to the fight then it starts buffering but I heard it was pure domination I heard it was pure domination it was so um, easy for him really like, from all aspects of the fight he yeah. dominated apparently yeah absolutely like um I think like we need to get used to just hearing the name no Nomago made of and not associating it with just a, a wrestler, you know, mm. just the iron grit Sam. But we need to leave that because he's not that person. And um who's the other guy? Umer or Usman? Umer Usman, yeah. from his Usman brother is mean. the other one in UFC. Yeah, so his in, brother in is UFC, Usman, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. So again, you know. When you hear the name, you think, oh, it's going to be another Dagestani rep. Like, if you watch that fight, you will see he's a completely different animal. Absolutely. And even um, Javier Mendez, you know Javier Mendez, mm -hmm. DC coach, Cain Velasquez coach, Khabib, he said he's the most talented fighter you've ever seen. And wow. he's had all those other guys. All those what other guys. You imagine that from a Cain, yeah. all those fights yeah. he had Cain Velasquez Rockhold. and Rockhold and DC and Khabib, and he's like, right. oh, it's crazy. It's insane. Even Islam, and he said, "This is the guy." So let's wait to see. Wow, could you imagine them guys? Mm. And you got the Bellator lightweight champion. You got Islam as the UFC lightweight champion, <laughs> and then you got. I think there's a, someone in the in the in the one, one FC in, one championship. Yeah, yes. Saeedo. Yes, if I believe his name yeah. was Saeedo, something like from that camp, so. just having the best so. lightweights of all, like in the in the world, basically. Well, how crazy is that? We, I mean, we've mentioned it many times, and it's this. Like we said before, you can't beat that, re that religious bubble that they have, which is religion, family. That's it. And training. You know? That's it. That's, yeah, that's it. I, I mean, that's there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Religion, family, training. R F T. Straight off the bat. You can't beat it. You that's cannot it. beat it. That's it. That discipline and, they're all, and whatnot. They're all hungry and they're all disciplined. And they're all and just they all they come have... from nothing and they all know. They have something that, you know, the rest of the slackers just don't have, which is that, like, resilience. And yeah. And I think money and fame doesn't change those people. And we saw that with Khabib. Doesn't I mean, mean everyone's an, yes. yeah, everyone's yes. an individual there, but still, I, don't, I think they all keep each other in check. So they don't let the money and fame get to them. Uh, and then it's always just keeping discipline and whatnot to it. And, and it's just crazy. It's absolutely amazing and fun to watch. And they, like, I would love to, I mean, again, you know, we should have saw... Uh, Uman, uh, uh, not too long ago in the UFC, but he got injured. I think he's going to be back in February. Uh, uh, Osman, right? sorry, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, but listen, yeah. in Bellator, I mean, that, that's exciting. They're, they're doing the, they're doing the uh, tournament, right? So he gets to the finals. He's already the champion, but Grand they're three. doing, yeah, so he yes. gets to the finals and whatnot. Um, but that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's a, it's it's exciting. exciting to see. I, I, I want to go back and try yeah. and find that fight and watch it. I do want to watch it because I just want to see how different he is. Um, because I know he's been training like Muay Thai since he was a kid, as well as sambo mm. and wrestling. So oh, just, yes, that's why striking so yeah. good. That's why, yeah, yes. He threw like like a teak kick and a and a and a front and a and a right cross at the same time, like four balls at the same time, and it was awesome. And he ducked out, so it was like one, two, duck out, and it, everything he was doing was just to the letter. It's almost like um Usman in the set. Remember when he knocked the guy with it with the was it he threw the kick and the punch. Mm, not mm. you know like they just they play Tekken for too long that's what it is <laughs> <laughs> they play Tekken in the womb 
You know, like when they're sleeping, they're playing Tekken, just com combining moves together. It's ridiculous when you see them. And it's like, you know, how come everybody else doesn't think that way or they don't combo moves that way? But, you know, they just have it about them. You know, it's 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 incredible to watch them fight, man. I'm it you. is. It is. From that region, man, they've really come in. Um, cool, man. Well, let's... let's... Look, I, I gotta catch up with Kibbs a little bit, oh, but just real quick, thing. I mean Bellator might get sold, by the way. Or well, Bellator yeah. might there's a there's a talk about it being sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not there's sure a, to who PFL, then, right? But they maybe, but they questioned um Scott Coker and uh he's like, you know, the future's uncertain, so we'll see. We'll see. I mean, there's some exciting fighters there. If if you know it'd be fun if the UFC take on certain fights like like Usman and and um and whatnot that'd be like amazing, but then again he won't fight Islam. But, but anyway, it, they got some potential mm. fighters there, which would be amazing. <laughs> um, fighting. Mm. Yeah, I mean they did that before, right? Strike Force, all those Strike Force fighters came up to the US. I mean <laughs> to the UFC. I mean imagine all the Bellator ones coming. I mean on that real quick, the one FC um mm. Chachri, he Did you hear his recent comment about? the US fighters and the UFC and Bellator and saying that they got mediocre striking and stuff like that. I feel like it's a I love watching one FC. They put on like I, we've spoke about it. we love what they do with the grappling with the Muay Thai, the kickboxing yeah. MMA. Love it. Love and they got these amazing strikers and stuff for the Asia. But for him to be saying stuff like that is almost feels a bit cringy. And it's like, bro, just like do what you're doing. Yeah, what you're doing yeah, is man. amazing. Yeah. Like could you like when you say that like MMA is kind of shown like okay yes amazing strike it's great but when it comes to MMA anything like, that, like John Jones for example like I think he will smash everyone almost in the world right on a one on one fight I mean if you're gonna say the UFC fighters have uh, mediocre striking like what does that matter if if John Jones was to just kind of take someone down in 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 the one of your heavyweight champion in the one FC down and smash the shit out of them mm. what's that matter um you know mm. I mean effect effect. Like MMA was and 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 the UFC and all this. I know it's all entertainment, but it was it was there to see like what works right in fighting. Mm. And yes, great mm. striking, great wrestling, all that sort of stuff matters, of course. But how clean mm. and nice it looks sometimes is is messy. Fighting is messy, right? It's not pretty. Mm. It can be pretty, mm. don't get me wrong, but it can also be messy. Um, yeah, and and yeah. In, it, it works you know what I mean so, so I don't know I just find it a bit cringy that he says that sometimes like oh like I was surprised yeah I, yeah I, I was surprised but don't get me wrong like we've spoken about the types of knockouts that happen in one championship even with the women you know I feel like the women the way that they strike is crisp mm. I don't know what it is I'm not going to compare or nothing I'm just saying what I see when I see one championship women fight I'm like oh shit I don't see that in UFC. I don't see them positioning and going for like vicious ground and pound and dirty elbows and you know the knockouts are a bit more. They never die in the dozen in the UFC. Am I wrong? In women fighting. Yeah. No. No. You're right. I mean, they are. Yeah. No. You don't really get much knockouts in the UFC with women, if I remember correctly. You get a few, and you but. You, you know, but yeah. you get the Zhang Weili's versus Joanna Jancic, which is one of the best yeah. female fights of all time. You know, what I'm trying to say like best fights okay, in yeah, all time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah, no, but you're right. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, because a lot of the women in 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 one FC or the lot of fighters in one FC is coming from Asia, from that Thai, uh, Thai background, or Thai and or traditional yeah. karate or whatnot. So, so doing those traditional styles. Yeah. So I see what he's saying about that—that that they've come from that area of life from the beginning from 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 young they've been strikers and then they've been champions i see that part but there's no need to compare and, and you know shoot down anyone's shit there's none of that yeah. but i see what he means just by how they fight you know you can see that pure striker who does mma versus an mma fighter you know uh so i see that part of it but the rest of it yeah, I mean, John Jones obviously responded because John Jones always does, right, to anything. But John Jones <laughs> said something about, like, he said something about, like, listen, this doesn't make pe people, this doesn't make more people want to watch one FC. Want to watch your show. And yeah, yeah. And he was just saying, like, without the UFC, there wouldn't be a one FC, which nice. might be it, because the UFC's marketing machine has pushed MMA around the world, right? So yes. even in Asia, yes. yes, he built that and whatnot. But in regards to like yes. just the general person in the US, like, oh, I love MMA or UFC, they might be like, oh, what's this one FC thing? Like, it's true. Like, the, the UFC market yes. machine has really pushed MMA Absolutely. around the world. So you have to, I don't know, it's weird that he he, he keeps 
because I think he said things before in the past as well. Uh, I'm surprised Dana really? didn't say nothing back. Yeah, Dana was like, I got no beef with them guys. Like, I'm surprised he he kind of keeps yeah. quiet about that point. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure where that's coming from. I mean, let's not forget that <clears throat> there's there was a, a little guy, big gamer, real fast, real, like, one of the best Bantamweight champions of all time, Demetrius Thompson, who came from the UFC and did big things in one championship. And, you know, if the UFC wasn't there, maybe he wouldn't have been there or whatever. But that's a big part of their brand, Demetrius Thompson. He's, he's in all the advertisements and, and so on. And, you know, he, he's, he's like highly decorated over there. So, like, they need to, like, stop that. <laughs> yeah, and, and don't forget as well, like they traded him for Ben Askren, who did get he was dominating in in one Great FC deal. and dominating yeah. the fighters there with wrestling and people might say he's boring, whatever. But the fact is he did dominate in one FC and then he got to UFC he and did. got smashed. Um so yeah, it depends on the yeah. fight or whatnot. But yeah, I think I think things should chill out. I just find it a little bit cringy when he says that sort of stuff. I want one FC are doing amazing things. Keep doing what you're yeah. doing. Let UFC do what they're doing because they're the marketing machine. They build superstars. They build, yes, the personalities are different, but they do build amazing fighters and whatnot. Um, mm. But yeah. I'm surprised no. about that. Got you, Reed. Just keep doing what you're doing, but just avoid that part. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool, bro. Um, Listen, I, I, got, I got to go now, man. Cool. I, I got to catch up with Kibbs. I got to quickly go do my prayers and then go catch up with Kibbs. But listen, it was good to catch up with mm. you. Um, guys, we're back hopefully every week. Um, we're, we're back, but KOS, you settle down, you do your thing, and we'll get back into routine or whatnot. We've got a big Abu Dhabi card coming up, so we'll definitely talk about that. But hopefully, oh. next week, let's try and do this again anyway. Uh, let's just yes. see how you're, how you're settled and whatnot. Um, but yeah, on that note, guys, we're out. Peace. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.